Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and in today's lecture, I want to discuss what makes us different. What makes the Javier Vasquez Jiu Jitsu Academy different than any other academy? And what makes us different is our curriculum. I want to discuss what makes our curriculum so special and how I have structured our academy to produce high levels of improvement in a very short amount of time. Before we get into that, let's talk about some huge news that I have got for you guys today. JV Jiu Jitsu Online is up and it is live. We will be adding content consistently onto jvjujitsu.com. Everything Javier Vasquez related for Jiu Jitsu content will be located in one location from lectures to the central path to JV basics, basic mechanics, every course, JVOS, every course that I've created will be on jvjujitsuonline.com. Check it out. So let's get started with today's lecture and what makes us different. So at the Javier Vasquez Jiu-Jitsu Academy, we feel that we are doing things very different. What makes us different? Let's talk about building the machine. Let's start with desired results. There needs to be an understanding that the academy is designed in a particular way. It is designed to produce a particular result. This is called a desired result. So before any techniques have been taught, before any curriculum has been written, I need you guys to understand that the goal of my academy is to produce a particular product. The product is the student's skill set and what, what kinds of skills do we want these students to have? And this is what I want to discuss right now. Of course, we start with desired results in mind first. We're not talking techniques. We're not talking moves. What do we want to produce? When, in a, student, when a student goes through the academy, goes through our curriculum, what do I want to see? This is kind of the idea. What kind of skills do I want to produce? This is what we're starting with first. And then we design the curriculum so that we can have these kinds of results. So we are starting with desired results in mind first. What are the desired results? Rapid skill development, something I call RSD. Universal comfort, that means that from every position you understand how to fight and you are in a place of comfort no matter where the fight takes place. High levels of effectiveness, high levels of efficiency, and of course, punch defense mindset throughout. One of the pillars of my curriculum is, and the way that I fought, is the fact that I am, I am recognizing and acknowledging that punches could come from any position at all time. The way that the curriculum is taught at its base root, punch defense is at the base. And of course, at the end of this, we're looking to produce a quality product. The Jiu Jitsu Academy, how can you make your product? The easiest way to make a product is you develop a machine. The academy is a machine. The products produced has a desired result. Next, let's talk about the final product. The product is a student skill. Rapid skill development is programmed into the machine. Measurable gains in RSD within three to four months. This has been something that I've observed as I've run my academies is that about every three or four months, there ha there, there, the student develops uh, a, a very versatile game because of the way that we're teaching the curriculum. The student uh, evolves a very versatile game from various positions. Their skill level slowly but surely starts to increase in each individual position. So about every three to four months, the students see these big gains in performance and in skill. How it works. So this is the basic layout of how the academy works. A new student comes into the, into the academy machine or the master plan machine as I like to call it. 
and from that they are spit out with desired results. In this case, RSD, universal comfort, high effectiveness, high efficiency, and punch defense throughout. How do we do this? What is in the machine that produces this kind of product? And why am I so confident based on the things I've put in the machine that the product will be produced? Well, we do it in three ways. The first is the mindset, JVOS. Secondly, we break things down into positional chapters. And finally, we have the central path. So each individual chapter or positional perspective has a central path. The central path being the primary attack or defensive strategy. The first part is JVOS. JVOS is a mindset. It's a way of thinking. It's a way of thinking about problems. It's a way of thinking about positions. And it's a way of uh, being able to think your way through problems, circumstances, and situations. So JVOS is the mindset. It's a new way of thinking. It's a language. It improves your decision making. It's an expression of feeling and it maximizes the efficiency. So you can gain conditioning just solely based on the way that your mind is processing the, the interactions between you and your opponent. Positional chapters is part two. I call these chapters positional perspectives. So what I mean by positional perspective is side mount has two perspectives, the top and the bottom perspective. Each individual perspective is its own chapter. So each chapter is its own perspective. It gives you a starting point and a goal. Each chapter is color coordinated for easy map reading. The chapters can be linked together from one to the other. And it simplifies the complexity of jujitsu. One of the th reasons that students leave jujitsu is that it becomes too overwhelming. Similar to the way I was taught jujitsu, whereas you're just learning a bunch of moves and then you got to categorize everything and fix, make all those things happen. I discussed that on how I learned jujitsu, which I believe is episode two of the lecture series on the channel. Go back and check that out so you can understand how I learned jiu-jitsu and the difference in how I'm presenting it now. I think this is a huge leap forward in teaching jiu-jitsu. So because jiu-jitsu is so complex, there's so many things going on, the ability to break things down into chapters or starting points or perspectives and, it give, and giving you the goal on how to approach each individual perspective is hugely important. And it simplifies the complexity and the emotional stress that learning jiu-jitsu can, can engulf a student with. Thirdly is the central path. The central path is a strategy. It's a map. It's a route, a strategy, a direction to follow. And of course, one of the biggest aspects of the central path is that it gives you predictable results. When you understand with your behavior that the opponent is going to react in particular ways, it slows things down. It makes things to where you're anticipating the future and it makes things easier for you to learn and absorb. So I believe that this is the formula for success in learning jujitsu. The way I'm breaking the techniques down independently is part of it. But I believe the overall structure of how I'm running the academy and the desired results that I have built into the machine over my 30 years of plus of teaching grappling and, and, and competing in grappling and wrestling, I believe that this is by far the most advanced jiu-jitsu curriculum ever created. I will put this curriculum against any curriculum in the world and not just on a technical level, but most importantly, on a level of results. What results can you prove that you can generate based on the things that you're doing? Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this very informative lecture. Again, if you want to follow us on Instagram, at JV Jiu Jitsu. If you want to follow my personal Instagram, at The Real Javier Vasquez. 
And again, follow our YouTube channel. We have two of them. We have the JV Jiu Jitsu Shorts channel and at JV Jiu Jitsu uh, for lectures as well. So there's two channels that you guys can follow if you enjoy my content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys real soon.